Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Gerber Instep. This video is being done because Mr. D. Settle Asky asked. So, just so happened that my local Walmart had this knife, so I went ahead and, and picked it up. It's been in the case, it's just nothing that had caught my eye initially, but since it was there and someone asked, I went ahead and got it. This can be had for about $40, and it is a tactical assisted opener. So let's take a close look. Like I said, I got this at Walmart. Here is the box that it came in. There's the Walmart number. I believe it's the Walmart number, which is uh, 149 and there is the model number 30-000436 again it is the Gerber Instant it's assisted opening and that's one of the standout features of this knife along with the plunger to release the lock so let's go ahead and look at those special features or at least the features that make this knife special first is the assisted opening or what Gerber calls FAST which stands for forward action spring technology in uh, real <laughs> real words all it is is like a torsion bar it's just a bar that's pushing down on the blade so it's pushing it helping it to stay closed but once you get over the threshold there then it's going to push I don't know if you can see that right there so and then it, it's, it uses momentum to carry it out till it finally locks. And then the locking mechanism is this plunger or button. And I'll let you see how that works. And you can see how that sort of goes into a groove in the back of the blade. Let me see if I can uh, shine some light on that so you can sort of see how that, that works right there. There we go. So you can sort of see how that right there how that works now um, th these type of locks tend to have some nasty traits to them and one is they generally don't lock up perfect and there is a, you know the up and down plate on this one is barely there I could feel it just a teeny bit but it's barely there and there is a little bit left right but the left right the side or side to side can be adjusted out just tightening that pivot screw so let's go ahead and go over all the other neat features about this knife its uh, overall length is seven and three quarter inches long blade length the documentation says it's three point one eight inches but when I measure it it's three and a quarter inches blade thickness is point one two inches thick so you know it's not too thin not too thick the blade is a modified clip point it's partially serrated I believe that is the only choice you have with this blade it has um, a black coating I cannot find where or you know I, can't, I just can't find anywhere on the internet <clears throat> on Gerber or anywhere else what type of finish this is at all you can see there are dual thumb studs there there's some nice jimping there that's pretty functional you have sort of a thumb ramp here so it, it makes it really good it's very hard for your hand to slip down on that blade again the uh, dual thumb studs you can see right there also acts as a blade stop you can see how there's a, some metal coming through there some of the liner coming through behind the G10 you do have G10 scales, a little bit skeletonized there, and there are some steel liners in there, stainless steel. Let's come back to the blade. We just talked about the coating. Um, what type of blade steel it is? Well, it is 7CR17MOV. It's a Chinese stainless steel, which is comparable to the US440A. I cannot find anywhere where the HRC of this steel is you know again that depends on the blade steel which is the 7CR17 and the type of heat treatment so I'm gonna guess it's somewhere around the mid 50s so that's a that's just my guess 
you have a uh, hollow grind here that comes up pretty far but there is some flat surface left over so if you have a clamp on sharpening device you'll have no problem um, sharpening this knife the um, handle thickness is about a half an inch and again nice G10 has a uh, minimal traction nothing um, aggressive really at all and you can see also you have a clip which is deep carry. I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. So when you put it in your pocket it's all the way down there. It is a small clip but uh, I carried it a couple of days and it was just fine. It's actually uh, very stiff. It was a little bit hard to get in and out of the pocket. Now this can be mounted on... Hmm. I don't see where it can be mounted anywhere else. So this is only right-handed tip down as far as that clip is concerned. Now another interesting thing is la the lanyard hole. Look how tiny that thing is. You could not get <laughs> 550 cord through that hole. It's too small. So that that's kind of weird and, and disappointing. Now you do have those dual thumb studs right there and that's how you deploy it. There is no kicker or the button is just to release the knife once it's open. Um, it is a little hard out of the box it's very hard to open but it's loosening up a little bit it takes a quite a bit of effort there out of the box but it's uh, after a little bit of wear it comes out okay and I did put some oil in there too to help it break in um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick look at my notes make sure I'm not missing anything Ah, I did um, you know 7CR17 MOV type of steel should give you a little hint of where this knife is made and yep Yep, I heard the right answer. It is made in China. So the best use of this knife is it's tactical. You know, it's black that you give it away. It's uh, a tactical knife. Now there are, there are uh, some interesting things on the internet, especially some videos about this knife and some issues it has had. This is a fairly new knife, um, relatively speaking. And the, the there's a, a, a young man who had one of these for about a year, and the torsion bar broke. That bar that, you know, the assisted opening or fast or whatever you want to call it. That spring, that spring in here, broke on him. Another issue that some folks have had, and I've read this on the forums, and there's a, a video or two out there, where when you put this in your pocket, your thumb, uh, the your pants will catch the thumb stud, and it will make it deploy prematurely. Now mine, it, I did not have that happen. It's very, very stiff. And as you can see, the spring still works, but I have not had this for a year. So you could take that for what it's worth. I'm not going to judge this knife on that since I'm not experiencing either one of those. But I did want to put that out there in case you didn't see those videos. The first thing I like to cover is the ergonomics. And the ergonomics are very good. It's a very simple design but it is very ergonomic it feels very good in my hand the, the ramp the thumb ramp with the jimping is perfect and even a reverse grip and that should be considered because it is tactical because the the handle has that rounded edge here that I like I put that's why I prefer the shape of the rear of my uh, my scales or, or the handle there it feels very good even in a reverse grip so ergos it, it has done outstanding Let's go ahead and test, just make sure the, the tip here has the proper heat treatment. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little bit of a test there and make sure that that held up really good. And you can see that held up perfect. Let's check out blade retention. Again, we want to make sure this doesn't come out prematurely. Mine is in there pretty tight it's uh you can see how much it you have to get all the way to about here actually you know that's barely five degrees so it doesn't it, it is a very little bit of angle there till it's uh being pushed out by that bar so that's uh you know i don't know if later on down the road once it gets broken in that could be an issue but right now it's not but that's a interesting design i guess that's inherent with the torsion bars so let's go ahead and open this up and test the paper cutting ability. Whoop. 
There we go. As with most Gerbers, it's uh, pretty sharp, as you can see there. I'm sort of going a little bit slow just to uh, get a feel for the edge. You can sort of feel if it's a micro serrated or if it's just a smooth edge. And it has, uh, you know, based on the way that feels, um, it feels like a micro serrated. You can take a close look there and see that. But uh, we could do it fast, and you can see it's very sharp. Test it on my nail there. It doesn't catch too well. So it, it's sharp, but it's not super du duper sharp. Well, there's a lot to like about this knife, and there's uh, quite a few things that I personally don't like about this knife. But let's talk about what I like first. I like the handle and the blade shape. It's very ergonomic. It feels really, really good. The uh, G10's very nice. Now, things that I don't like... Well, well, let's talk about something that I like and don't like at the same time. The speed of the deployment. It comes out very fast, and it when it hits that blade stop, you actually feel a little bit of recoil. It's, uh, it's like it's, uh, you know, it, it really comes out there with authority. Now, I, I personally don't like <laughs> how it ends and, and hits really hard. And uh, I don't know if that can actually make this wear and cause some issues later on down the road. But it um, it definitely comes out pretty fast. Now things I don't like, the uh, for $40 I feel that the blade steel could have been a little bit better than 7CR17 MOV. Maybe uh, 8CR or something like that. The um, I don't like that the pocket clip cannot be moved anywhere else. It's uh, just where it is. And that's it. I also don't like that it has a tiny, tiny little lanyard hole. Way too small. Way too small. Now, um, the plunger, you know, it is what it is. It works the way it's supposed to work. And it does have the, little, the trait of it having that very slight, very ever so slight, up and down. It's inherent. It's normal. I'm not going to really hit that as a, a, a con too much. But this could have been an awesome, awesome... 10 out of 10 kind of knife, but they just, you know, lanyard hole, clip, and uh, steel really just sort of uh, ruined it for me. And um, uh, even the jimping was, uh, as a pro, was very well done on that thumb rail. So I am going to give this a, because it's so hit and miss, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. And, I, and that's really, uh, I'm hurting because it's, it's sort of like a between a 7 and an 8 for me, but... You know, that, that lanyard hole is no freaking excuse. And for $40, again, the steel needs to be up, up to just one. So, 7 out of 10. That's uh, my rating, my personal opinion. And uh, I know some people love this knife. But, um, you know, one thing I forgot is uh, two more specs before we close this video out. One is blade centering. It's uh, almost perfect. It's just a little bit off but barely not enough to be concerned with and the other thing was the weight is 4.18 ounces I'm human I forget stuff sorry okay well thank you very much for joining me here at the gear obsession channel I really appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you and I hope you have a great evening take care